soon as I thought I was 18, you know. And you served, you said you served for three years? Yeah. I think when I, I, I enlisted, I think it was 1943. How did you get enlisted in this war? Oh, they, uh, they you know, the, their uh, consul in different parts of the town, they, they, uh, they picked you. The ship landed on the side, you know, sideways, that's, and uh, everybody went to look at the side, and the damn ship started to tip, you know, they made everybody go, what was supposed to be on the other side, did back, and the ship's going to roll over <laughs> in the water. Oh, it was, uh, it was nothing, we, we got on a, we got on a plane, I mean, a, on a train, I think, we drove it all over, heck, I don't know where the heck we was gone, and finally we, we landed, after we was there for a while, uh, they had, another thing I forgot to tell you about, uh, they had, uh, Germans had uh, buzz bombs, they had called the buzz bombs. And they would, uh, they would, they would, they would, had a little motor on them and they'd fly. They, they wouldn't fly very high, just like, just fly high enough to be off the ground and jump like, just like the someone's driving. But the, somehow they had the control, the, the thing, the control would keep them from going down into the ground. It, if there's if there's a woods, it take you up. And then if you could hear them, I was older when I, when I see them go by, but there's no way you could, no way you take a shot at them because you, you can hear them, but you can't see them, you know. By the time you see them, they're gone. We start pushing the Germans back, you know. They, we, after we, you know, a hole on, on the beach, you know. And uh, that, uh, that beach was, we, where were we supposed to go? Where were we supposed to come in at? We didn't come the way they thought we was going to come. We, we went down along the Omaha, you know, this here ocean, it, it, it's a big turn there, it goes around like this here, and they, they put bomb wire all around that, around that uh, beach there, it was all wired up with wire, bomb wire. The first bunch of engineers that come in there, they got pretty wiped out. I don't think there was too many of them that made it. And, uh, but uh, we finally made it to the, well, what, what happened, what helped us get on the beach, we had these big 90 meter, air, uh, uh, guns on the ship. They start, they start trying to get up on her. They opened up these big, uh, big old 90 meter millimeter guns. I don't know what they call them, but they're very big guns. They kept shooting into the beach and then making the, making a hole big enough to drop a house in. You know, kept hitting the beach and making a hole. And that's the way we that's the way we landed. We followed it. You no, know, we, we had a hole to get in. We finally got in. And like I said, once the engineers got in there, they they took the made a path for us to get off the ship, so, you, and that's where we got on the, on the beach. And once we got on the beach, and that's where we sat, and they, they unloaded the, the tanks and stuff. Well, we wasn't paying any attention. The way they, they had, the Germans had great big tanks. You know, they had, they call them tiger tanks. But the, the track was about as wide as this table. I don't know how wide they were. Really were big tanks, but the only thing was wrong, they didn't have no gas to operate them. You know, Germans, they had, you know, they went to, they was in Italy and fighting, they had too many, too many places that scattered out, it was, and, and, uh, and there was in Russia, you know, and they were just fighting everywhere, and uh, finally, they just, they ran out of, they ran out of fuel, they didn't have no fuel. We actually pushed them along, uh, they had airplanes on the ground, but they couldn't run them, because they had no, no fuel to, to fly, you know, and that's one of the things that helped us out, because, it was, it was shouted out too far. It was another battle, you know, the Germans just, they were, they were always trying to fire back. And then mm -hmm. these are churches, a lot of these churches have big steeples on, just small villages and stuff, they have big steeples on them. And, well, at first, we just ignore the steeples, but uh, the Germans would climb up in them steeples and set up their machine guns as our troops would go by, they'd open fire on them. They didn't, didn't have a chance, you know what I mean? So what you do instead of instead of waiting to be waiting to find out if there's anything in them steeples, they call back to you know, our trolley and they it's our big guns and whatever the church is just blast blast the top of them their uh, steeples out and then and that's the way about the elevator. And another thing too, they they have uh, Germans have grenades, but uh, but they have concussion grenades and, and they have a, they have two different kinds of grenades you put. If, uh, if, if the house is empty, you can't take chances on it. They, our guys would just throw a grenade in there and, and then look around and make sure that Germans are not hidden there, you know. Mm -hmm. 